Wake up. Hey. Wake up. Wake up. You thought it was over, didn't you? You thought that ratting us out to the EU would get you out of this mess. Well, buddy, I gotta say you thought wrong. What you have stopped is just one part of our full plan. At this time, my associates are working around the clock to circumvent your little rules and regulations. These are nothing but minor obstacles in our path to ultimate ad delivery. We have a team of legal experts coming through every page of that document you so proudly presented and finding every possible loophole in it that will give us total control. Within the next few months, all of your weapons against us will be made obsolete and we will have total control over everything. <laughs> it's nothing personal, really. Just business, so don't take it the wrong way, but... You will watch the ads and you will be happy. Now hit the like and subscribe button and here's a 60 second unskippable ad for you. No. No. No! Uh, uh. It was just a dream. Ah, oh, thank God. Except it wasn't. It's reality. Or at least it's going to be a reality. So Google's next step in the ad delivery arms race is to give themselves a leg up on the competition and severely limit the speed at which the ad blocking services are allowed to update themselves. They're calling this whole update Manifest version 3. So not only does the name itself already sound kinda ominous, and the things that it will do are also quite dystopian. It seems like a very calculated attack from multiple fronts on the ad blocker forces in a way that would make Sun Tzu shed a tear of joy. The first part of what will happen is that the current API that most ad blockers use will be taken out back behind the sauna and just killed off. In its place, they will instead put up what they call the declarative net request. Now at a glance, it might seem that this is pretty much the same thing as the previous one does, in that it lets you specify certain web requests and just block them, exactly like the current ad blockers do. But that's not really the case. So the key part in this is that this form of net request API is not allowed to directly intercept the web requests, and instead it is kind of just allowed to politely ask the browser or service to just please don't display the specific request since it looks like an ad and I don't want it. Now, since it's not a direct interception, the web browser can basically just say no and display it anyway. Google says in their documentation that since this lets the extension modify network requests without intercepting them and viewing their content, thus providing more privacy. I think in reality what this means is that Google can have their own ad services be on some necessary allow list that will not be blocked through the net request API. So already with the API changes, Google is kind of covering their bases on the ad blockers, but wait, there's more. Another major change they're making with the manifest version 3 is that extensions will no longer be able to host so-called remote code. That means that all updates, all of them, have to go through a Google review process. Now, ad blockers mostly have community hosted lists that have all the ad requests in them so the extensions know exactly what to block. This is pretty important since the requests keep changing at a fast pace in order to try and stay ahead of the ad game. Now some might think that, wait, that's good, right? Remotely hosted code sounds kind of spooky and scary, who knows what's in there? Which is true in some cases, yeah, but it kind of feels like this whole update is kind of crafted with the specific goal of crippling ad blockers in mind. Basically, it's going to add a delay into any ad blocker ad filtering update, and since some of the filter lists need to be updated almost daily, it's going to make it near impossible to keep blocking all the ads. And the review process itself is kind of long. It can take anywhere from two hours to three weeks. And who's to say Google won't just decide to take their time and really like look into the code in all the ad blockers just to make sure there's no privacy issues like extra double checking them and really taking their time with it. So with all these changes, it's kind of like a race, except Google gets to choose who gets to run in the race. And also Google gets to use a bicycle while everyone else has to run bare feet. 
The whole Manifest version 3 was a thing that they had planned to push out in the past, but decided against it after extensive user outcry of how it would damage most extensions on Chrome. I mean, it still does the exact same thing, the exact same damage is still there, but I guess their baseline revenue is just being pushed pretty hard for them to really go for maximum ads. I personally still think that ad blockers are not really the disease that needs to be cured, but it's just a symptom. And the actual root cause is the ads are too invasive. People skip video ads because they want to watch the video. You know, if ads themselves were good or delivered in a way that doesn't disturb the user experience, then they wouldn't really get blocked. Like, man, I get it. You need to show the ads to keep the service running and... Using ad blocker is almost like freeloading and drain on the server resource, but like surely there's a way where we can all be happy, right? Surely. But yeah, that's what I had in mind with this one. As usual, let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the ad dystopia.